Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carmen and I am a 33 year old budgeter and I am currently going through my mid-year planner crisis. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so, um, let's talk about this. This is, I think, the second year in a row I have gone through a mid-year planner crisis and I, I don't know what to do with myself at this point. So let's talk about what I have been through and then we'll talk about where I am right now. So first things first, before 2024 even started, I set up an A6 Stology. I did all the months, I did everything, came to January, I didn't even touch it, okay? Didn't even touch it. So we'll come back to this one because we did go into it eventually. Um, so January, I rolled into a B6, um, just a B6 Sterling ink notebook, not a common planner, just a plain notebook. Um, I want to say that this is the notebook that has the most time spent in it. And I love it. I do. I don't know why I stopped going into it. Don't know. Don't ask. Just, I, I don't even know anymore. Um, okay. So spent pretty much um, January to May. Yeah, because the dailies kind of end in May. I did not go into June in this one. Um, and you'll see what I went into June with. So anyways, in here, started off, I had all the months in the front, absolutely love that. And then I started with the dailies and weeklies all kind of here. Um, at this moment in time, I was also using this Hobonichi Cousin as a memory keeper. So I think that was a big thing with me because I wasn't sure what I wanted to put in here that I didn't have to basically rewrite in my cousin. So it was a weird time. Um, and these, I love these pages and they just got a little like, I wasn't sure what to do with them because like I said, I didn't want to double up things. So it kind of just, I fell off. At this point, and I know this point because of the, the washi, this point, I thought about using my Hobonichi cousin as a um, everyday carry. So you can see here, I started adding in the todays and to-dos and all that stuff, and then I would memory keep in here as well. So at this week, I stopped using the Sterling Ink notebook, and I attempted to use this, but then I was like, I don't wanna be carrying this everywhere. So I did not use that. Came back into here, and pretty much like around here-ish, I'm like, I want something smaller. So then that's where my A6 came back. So you can see January and June, I pretty much back planned uh, January, the majority of January. And then I kind of went fully into it in February. So that's where a lot of this kind of came in and I had a little bit more deco and everything. And I started going back to that two days per pay or two page per day kind of setup where I would have everything to do for the day and then my um, memory keeping, which was nice and everything. But I mean, I don't know. I ended up missing my um, Sterling Ink notebook. So I went back to the Sterling Ink notebook all the way up until pretty much. Um, so you see, these are backtrack days because I did uh, two days per page. So like I didn't have memory keeping in them. So I just rewrote like all like, the plans and everything that we had and then um, everything. So I kept up this layout pretty much where I had my to-dos for the day and then I had a time daily on the side, which is really nice. Um, Cause I was kind of doing a little bit of memory keeping still in the Hobonichi Cousin. So I really didn't need to do like a day by day thing here. Um, so I really kept up that layout for a good while. So let's see where I kind of switched it up. I yeah, pretty much used this the whole time. I think in May is when I switched it up. So if we get into May, I had all my weeks. I did different week layouts. And then here's where I switched it up where I had my to-dos and everything for the day. And then I did memory keeping. So I wasn't using my Hobonichi cousin anymore for the memory keeping process. So I had this and I was just adding in my ephemera wherever I had it. So on and so forth and then this is where i did again a two page per day because i kind of missed having my time daily so i did my to do's my time daily and then i had memory keeping so i did all that here and it was really nice i enjoyed that 
but I don't, I don't know. You want to No, I do know. Planner Monkey Co. came out with a pink B6 notebook. So of course, me having somewhat of a love for pink was like, you know what? I want to do it. So what did I do? At the end of May, I closed this baby up and I took out this B6 um, freely noted notebook. So again, plain notebook, nothing else. Absolutely love this one. I love Sydney's paper. It's absolutely amazing. I have another blank notebook uh, for when I do decide to go back into it. Um, just sitting there ready to go. So I had this and I was here pretty much June. And then I started seeing, so this was like kind of a little bit of, I don't know, weirdness, but I was using this pretty much. And I loved, I loved this. So right now, this is the layout that I have going on in my um, in my current setup. So just FYI, that's the setup I have going on. Um, so then I'm here at home. I'm not working because it's summer break and I have absolutely nothing else to do with my life besides watch YouTube videos. So I was watching YouTube videos and I saw a bunch of people and their Hobonichi cousin, a Vex. Okay, a Vex. So what did I do? I went ahead and I ordered a Hobonichi Cousin Avec, July to December, and this is what it is, right? Okay, this is where you guys have been seeing me. But anyways, so this has been great. I love this, it's very nice. I do like having the Hobonichi Cousin as a memory keeper. It is very, very nice to have, love the pages. Everything just feels so nice and smooth, okay? so dailies, everything, a lot of memory keeping, a lot of pictures, lots of ephemera going on. Everything's so nice and pretty. Okay. And then this past week I was keeping it strictly as memory keeping. I was taking a lot from, um, Amy at C. Amy draws like junk journaling, junk journaling, where I was taking just bits and pieces and just putting it in tissue papers, whatever it was. Right. So, I'm not gonna bring it out because I didn't, I don't feel like bringing it out because I was literally in it for like maybe a week and a half. So we're in the last week of July right now. Tomorrow's August 1st, okay? And for like a week and a half, I was using a Sterling Ink A6 Common Planner, July to December. Yep, you heard me. I'm not even gonna go get it because it's literally pointless for me to go get it. Anyways, lasted <laughs> literally a week and a half. I don't know what to do with my life. So currently, I'm still throwing some stuff in here for memory keeping, which I'm not gonna keep up with every day because you know what, I just, I honestly don't need to. I honestly think I'm just gonna use this as like extra ephemera pieces if I wanna throw pictures in here just to kind of get them off my camera roll and just make like a whole page of just pictures. I think I'm just gonna do that. And I'm gonna keep this just as is, how it is, very nice, everything. So I had been going through my box of old planners, okay? And a lot of them are, if you've been around with my channel since the beginning, you know what notebook I'm talking about, okay? I am talking about the B6 Stalogy that I am currently using. And I have set up, well, the monthlies and weeklies are set up August to December. Um, I have a tracker in here that is from July because I needed to kind of just backtrack information. And here's where I'm at. I know, call me crazy, but I figured, you know what, I need to go back to basics I did also order a Sterling Inc. B6 notebook. So just like the one that I started at the beginning of this year, which I think I'm gonna go back into for the first six months of 2025. So that's what my idea is. I'm not gonna touch it, I'm not gonna, I actually I probably will like set up the months and everything, but I'm wondering if it may be too many pages to use, but for six months, but um, we'll make it work. It's gonna, if it has extra pages, it has extra pages. I just don't think I can make it work for a full year. I feel like that's very 
constricting pages wise if I want to use something for something else. So that's what it is. Anyways, so let's talk about this baby. This is what I'm in. Um, I started this on Monday. It's currently Wednesday. So it feels really, really nice to be in something that I haven't been in in a while. B6 size I have been in, but the paper and the five millimeter grid of um, Astology is what I haven't been in in a really long time. Like B6 five millimeter, it's been I think two years since I've been in one. Or maybe, yeah, no, I think two years. I think the last B6 Astology I have is from 2022. So haven't filled in my pockets again because everything was kind of just everywhere else. So I'm not worrying about that, but I did fill in the pockets. So this is um, the Lauren Phelps Designs clear cover in B6 and it fits perfectly like a glove here. I printed out some pages um, from like images from Pinterest and I put those here. I have some stickers here from Planner Monkey Co. Um, some journaling cards from Happy Scrappy. I have this uh, read sticker from See Me Draw. I believe this one's also from See Me Draw. And then I have my magic um, sticker here from Planner Monkey Co. as well. I got a freebie from Plan With B, so that's this one. And then this is also a freebie from Plan With B. So I'm gonna be using this as my PTO is taken because I always tend to kind of not remember how many days I've taken. And then I feel like I'm not given enough. I don't know. Anyways, so this is something that I took from what I was doing in my Hobonishi Cousin. And it's my kind of health key and social media key. So on my health side, I'm tracking my steps and my cycle. And then on my social media side, I'm tracking my I, um, Instagram posts and reels and YouTube videos posted. So that's what these colors are. And then I have my workouts also put here. Um, so I backtracked July because I really wanted to have that information here as well. So I went ahead and I made all six months here and then I have all my monthlies and I've given each monthly a washi tape that I want to kind of just coordinate with. So that means I'm not going to be using washi in my dailies, which is really, really weird for me. Maybe like scraps, but not like how I usually do. So what I'm going to be using the monthly washi for is for my dashboards, my monthly dashboard, and you'll see for August. And then any um, notes or important things I wanna track or just write down will somehow have that washi and be like bordered off. And you'll see what I mean, because I'm gonna show you um, my side income tracker. And I did that and I added that washi, so it looks really nice. So then I have September, October is my birthday, so I put my favorite washi here. Um, then we have November. Of course, this is my favorite, um, gingham washi from Planner Monkey Co. Absolutely love it. I will use it all of November. So it's amazing. And then I have this one from December, which is from Hobby Lobby. So then what I also did is I left space for all of my weeklies. So I'm going to put it like the Hobonichi Cousin and like the Common Planner and all that stuff monthlies, weeklies, and then dailies and everything else is afterwards. Okay. So this is this week. And then I kind of mapped out like the rest of August weeks. And then I tabbed with these, um, planner monkey code tabs where every month kind of starts. So I have those here, but eventually I'm, as I have time, I'll just make the, um, the weeklies. I'll draw them out. Okay. So those are all there. And then, so this is my monthly dash page. So I have my month. I have this from Peanuts Planner Co. It's a freebie in our Facebook group. Um, this is just to track the days like I've closed all my rings. So you can see this is my monthly coordinating washi. This is a freebie from Sterling Inc.'s Facebook group. And then I go into my dailies. So like I said, this is the kind of format that I was dealing with where I have my items to do that day and then journaling. Um, and then this is today. So I have a couple things I have to cross off. And then I have the rest of the week, right? Okay. This is what I was talking about. If I have an extra thing, I'm going to box it off, add the coordinating washi tape for the month, and then fill in what I need to. And that's what I'm gonna do. In the back, all I did was kind of map out how many boxes are where, and yeah, we're just gonna see how this goes. So, 
I'm going to put it on myself to stay in this for the rest of the year because honestly, it's, it's stressful. I start work again next week. So school starts back next week. It's teacher planning um, week. Next week is the first week of school and I'm just going to be stressed as it is. So this is it. I'm not going to hold myself to fill in anything in my Hobonichi cousin of if I have nothing, I'm not going to worry about it. If I want to write maybe like a highlight of the day, big and bold, I don't really care. I'll do that. But I need to like stop putting the stress on myself and just go back to basics, which is what I'm really trying to do now because I need simplicity in my life. And that's what I put here for my weekly. This is what I got from one of my sticker uh, packs says simplify, simplify, simplify. I need to simplify my life right now because I'm stressing myself out. So that is my mid-year planner crisis and we are back to basics. So let me know if you guys are in the same mindset as I am where I just need to scrap everything and go back to what I know. Or if you are so far away from the loony bin that I'm in right now, that you've been perfectly fine and content because I absolutely love you then. I'm very, very happy for you and proud of you that you have found your simplicity in life. But yeah, enjoy and have a great week, guys. If you are a teacher and you are starting back, I wish you all the best of luck. And I hope that the odds are ever in your favor with your classes this year. Um, but yeah, you know, if you need anything, you know where I'm at. We always need a community of teachers because we, nobody understands what we go through, but, it, but us. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.